my beautiful sisters, how are you all doing? Listen, you're in your journey. God bless you, by the way. And I'm wishing you an awesome, blessed, amazing day. Listen, I hope your treatment's going well. Um, there was one post that I read this morning. I do not believe she is on my page. Um, but her post, she's on another cancer page, of course. Her post said that she had to stop uh, treatment due to neuropathy, which obviously that's something real. And that she's afraid that her last three uh, infusions that she's missing in, in on is going to make a difference or may make a difference in the outcome. So she's a little afraid of that. Hey, listen, so would I. But you know what, ladies? Listen, God is in control. Okay. And I remember my doctor telling me, uh, we need to try to get you to, to, to round number eight at least. You know, in the event that neuropathy does kick in. Um, we don't want to go any less than that. And I always kept that in mind. And, you know, I asked her why. And she says, well, you know, treatment eight, you know, after number eight, it's just, you know, the, 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 the strong doses, you know, up to round eight usually does the job. But they continue with the next four just to reach number 12. Um, so I always kept that in mind. I went through all of mine, luckily. I've gotten neuropathy ah, at maybe a level one, um, meaning it was very mild. And, you know, it went away, thankfully. And um, so I was able to do it. And some ladies, they, they, they can't. I mean, your bodies, you know, you, 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 you got to listen to your body. So to that lady and to all you other ladies who are experiencing that, listen, get as far as you can in treatment. When God says it's time to stop, it's time to stop. Don't fight against it. Go with it. And just keep telling yourself along the journey, I am cancer free. Look at it as in the future. I am cancer free. And you keep telling yourself that. Write it everywhere you, you could possibly write it where you look. If you walk into your bedroom door, write it on there. Your mirror in your bathroom, your mirror in your bedroom, your steering wheel, wherever, and your desk and your work if you're still working. Wherever it is, write affirmations of positive, um, um, you know, positive outcomes. Where you want to be, what you, how you want to be. I want to be cancer freaking free. That's where I want to be. And you tell yourself that and you believe it and your subconscious is going to work. And it's going to start healing your body. I'm not saying this is the heal maker. No, don't get that wrong. But when you think positive, positive things come to you. If you think negative, what are you going to attract? You're going to attract negative. Why? No. Bring happiness to your life. Not sadness. So always think positive. Always look at the, at the glass as half full. Always look at the skin that the, at, at the cancer as treatable. No matter what stage you are. Yes, the doctors will treat me. Yes, I will be cured. Yes, I will go into remission. Yes, I will beat this. Yes, I will remain cancer free. And you tell yourself these things over and over and over before you go to sleep. Remind yourself, I will wake up and less cancer will be in my body. And you keep that as a reminder and listen, You'll see. You'll see on your own what you can manifest just by saying that. But you got to believe it. You can't say it just to say words. You got to believe it. And um, moving on a little bit, uh, my ladies, today is my dad's birthday. He would have been 72 years old. I love my dad very much. I was very close to my dad. He passed away 11 years ago. So today is kind sad day I will probably um buy some balloons but last night I was at a funeral of my sister-in-law's mother and uh man I thought I did my dad's well my dad's funeral was absolutely beautiful there, there really was no comparison but this funeral here the way my nieces did it was absolutely beautiful I am so proud of them but one of the things that 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 I really 
never saw them. Sure, maybe some of you ladies have seen it, but they're these little, they're the, the, these little, um, I don't know, I want to call them a parachute. Uh, they're, they come in like in a white box and you open them and you light it at the bottom and with, I guess, the flames, it inflates it and then you let it go and, you know, it just goes up in the air and it floats. And it was the most beautiful thing. Well, I took advantage of those, okay, and I released those. I did one for my father and as the other people were letting them go, I was taking them as if they were letting go for me. And I did um, I, I did a little prayer for those who have passed from cancer. And of course I did one um, in honor of my father. And I will post one of them. But it was the most beautiful thing. Like, I'm going to go and buy some more and, and let them go again. They're completely biodegradable. So they're better than uh, letting balloons go. And, um... It was a beautiful thing. But uh, I just wanted to, to let you ladies know that. You know me, I like to talk about family. And um, you saw the video the other day about me and my son. Uh, we were eating pizza. We had a great weekend together. Um, spent quality time with my boy. And uh, he's 17, so, you know, it's becoming closer and closer for me to kind of have to let him go. We parents never let our kids go, but they'll be 18 next year, of course. And, you know, it's going to be weird. He's going to be gra he's going to graduate from school, so I won't have any more children in the school system. I won't have any more minors be, you know, under my belt. So it's going to feel a little weird next year, but it's going to be a great honor because I am going to see um to the completion of the man that I built. And um, I'm very proud of my son, who he's become. And, you know, what baffles me or what, you know, God, just thinking about it. He is like me in so many ways that it's incredible how children really do mimic their parents. I mean, you know, he'll tell me things. He's like, Mom, listen, I ask questions just like you do. I made sure I asked the questions. Or he'll go and he'll do something just like I taught him. You know, he mentors a lot of people. He a lot of kids. Um, he's like everybody's therapist. Everybody goes to him. He, even though he's like the silliest kid in the group of friends, because he likes to, sit, to be the center of attention. He's Leo. And he likes to be the center of attention. And he likes, he's that protector. And his protectingness is coming out more and more as he matures. It's pretty incredible. Um, and he knows it. He said, Mom, remember, I'm a protector. I'm going to protect you no matter what. And, you know, he'll come out with things like that. And just to see who he's developing into and how he's gotten so many of my traits really, really makes me proud. Not proud to get Rick 